What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here, another Dell Vostra 200 mini tower and this is a processor upgrade I'll show you how to do that. So you're gonna move the two screws right here in the back for the side cover panel with the Phillips screwdriver, remove that and move the side cover panel and first off we need a Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna move the heatsink fan right here so you have four screws, two in the bottom, two in the top. I'm gonna zoom in the video so you guys can see better. So I'm gonna move the screws for the top ones first. There'll be two screws right here in the top where the heatsink is at. Really easy. Use a Phillips screwdriver. And disconnect the four pin for the fan for the CPU fan right here, cooler get that disconnected and first what we're gonna do is uh, clean the heat sink and to do that I'm gonna need to put some kind of paper so we don't want get, to get the thermal compound on the motherboard and to do that it's really easy it's gonna have an old thermal compound in here where you how you do that it's really easy just take a like a credit card and scrape it off the old thermal compound make sure you have some kind of piece of paper here laying around so you don't want to get that in the motherboard just like that you scrape it off really easy now what you need is a paper towel clean paper towel and wipe it off that's good enough if yours doesn't come off really well then you can just use a rubbing alcohol like 50% minimum then the rubbing alcohol will clean it a lot better will take off all the old thermal compound so that's good enough now so we'll clean out the heat sink old thermal compound removed and you can use a good paper towel they sell in your, in your grocery store now remove the paper here and we're gonna remove the processor really easy just take the pin right here press it down with we'll gentle and remove the secure lock Is the whole processor remove that one and we'll upgrade to Intel Core 2 Duo and the way you're gonna install it is uh, the edges right here one left one right there'll be the edges right here you can see if the camera can zoom in you guys and there's a black one right here that's gonna be the right so you're gonna install it just like that really easy and then clip it back now just wipe off the other term of some kind of like thermal compound okay what we're gonna do is uh, get a thermal compound new one and reapply Show you guys how to do that. You can put on the heatsink first or the processor, either way, doesn't matter. Put in the middle, not too much. And just spread it evenly. You guys can see oh, the video. I'm going to zoom in the camera a little bit. Do the other side. Now 
You can use a credit card to bro, apply a thermal compound to spread it. Perfectly fine. This is like a little piece of credit card. So you can just use a credit card perfectly fine. Just spread it. Okay, now we're going to reinstall the heat sink back. So when you're going to install the heat sink, it will... It will, prepare, uh, it will basically the, the 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 thermal compound will spread evenly. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, install back the the heat sink fan cooler. And get all the screws here. And you're gonna back and make sure you don't forget to install the four pin CPU fan cooler here, right there. The four pin. Gonna reconnect it back. Make sure the boards, uh, each uh, each screw here tight because you don't want to get one that's not tight because the, the the heat sink fan is gonna not gonna apply full all the way to the heat sink, so it's gonna run hotter. So make sure you screw all the screws in the heat sink. So I'll tell you guys, and then we're gonna install back the cover side cover panel. So guys, this is the end of the video. This is for Dell Vostro 200 processor upgrade. Thanks for watching. Bye.